Good morning. Well, this morning we're going to debunk some of the coronavirus myths. Uh, number, number one is masks. Are they good? Well, they are good for health professionals there if somebody is and they, and they know of the person that is infectious, that it protects them, but also that the people that are sick, that if they wear masks and they are coughing and sneezing, that they're sneezing into the mask and they're not sneezing into the environment. And also with the masks, um, you have to be very careful when you put on your mask that you don't touch your eyes with your fingers like that as you're putting on your mask and as well that you that you use the straps at the side to put your mask on without touching the face mask because you can infect the face mask and then you put that on it and it can affect you. Uh, next one is uh, the transport. We all need to use transport no matter what it is, buses, trains at some stage, whatever, planes. So what we need to do is um, we, we need to, when we get on the thing, as I always say, and, and experts just after seeing it a minute ago, if you see somebody sneezing, coughing, stay away. I'm always saying it, I'm going to say it forever. Stay away. And if you get on transport, if you can, if there's not that many people on the bus, whatever, or the, or the train or whatever like that there, if make sure you're sitting away from them. If there's a free seat on the train, and even though you're supposed to sit in that seat, but there's not that many, jump over to that seat and stay away your distance from other people. I know it's an extreme measure, but the thing about it is we need to do it at the moment because these are extreme times. Okay, so the next one is, like that there, can, is it only elderly people that get sick mostly of this and who can get infected? Well, everyone can get affected with it, but as we know, a lot of people, especially the younger people, are the carriers. And then they can give it to the older people. And people with underlying health problems can can end up getting very sick with it. And not in all cases now can can um can somebody of course die out of it. No, of course, like that, even a lot of the elderly people that's in their eighties are even surviving out of it there with good treatment, of course. And as we know, if all the if all the hospitals in the world in, in the world start getting stretched to capacity, well then it, things can happen there because they only have so many ICU beds in every country, and if we got very large numbers, which to help of God we won't, but it is supposed to be peaking in the next ten or fourteen days, so that's just. Just, just letting you know about that. So there's supposed to be at the peak of 10 or 14 days and now they're going to see large numbers ramping up. Uh, the next one is, um, is, is it a bad thing if a virus mutates? Well, a doctor just said there, it's not really a bad thing because as it mutates, it makes mistakes. As a medical term, it makes mistakes. And as the virus carries on through person to person, it can weaken the potency of the virus and it's less effective and then the doctor would be hoping that it dies out over over the matter of the numbers. So mutation isn't 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 really a bad thing. People always say, oh it mutated and then it goes into a stronger. No, no, it can be a good thing at sometimes as well. And it, it can mutate that the virus as as it replicates and goes through other people like that, the potency is a lot a lot less. So and as, as, as well, always sanitizer, he said, has to be over at least 65, 65 to 90 percent sanitizer there. There's weaker sanitizers around. And he said that they're no, they're no good. They're just they're like a cleanser, but they're actually the alcohol content isn't strong enough in them. So it's a good it's a, it's a good one, like 60, 65 upwards. And, and a good one, it's good sanitizer around 70, 70, any, any sanitizer between 70 and 80 are good sanitizers. So um, after that, then he he, he was ju he was just saying wash your hands twenty seconds, plenty of soap like that, and it's as good as anything. Um, and then he said, of course, he said what I've been saying the last few days. If you're getting a plane to transport, bring a set of wipes with you. Clean down, he said, because that's where all the bacteria is, the trays, what we always say, the te the screens, the buckles, the headrests, the armrests. That's it, and he said the same about the toilets. So that's that's a that's a top medical profession there dealing in infectious diseases for thirty five years, so he knows what he's talking about. So I'm just following his guidelines. 
So I just letting you know all this, folk. I oh, hope you have a great, a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.